YouTube, what is going on? We're not going to waste any time with no bullshit intro, you know, sub to me, like my channel, all that stuff. We're just going to get right into the video. Tons of people have been asking me in my comments, Zach, what are the best NVIDIA settings for every game in general? What should my NVIDIA, NVIDIA settings be on? This video is going to show you exactly what you should set your settings and your NVIDIA control panel on. So let's do it. First things first, before anything, you're going to want to make sure you either have the latest driver downloaded through the GeForce Experience app, which is down below in the description, or you download the update from September 28th, 2020, this game ready driver. All you got to do is click the link down below, search your GPU and it'll pop up. This one is one that people say runs the games the best with the highest fps and it's pretty new and pretty up to date so i would try using this driver if it doesn't work out for you you can always just download the most recent driver through the geforce experience app so it's worth a shot it might increase your fps a little bit okay now that you guys have da are downloaded the graphics drivers all you're gonna have to do is right click on your desktop click nvidia control panel a window is gonna open up now we're going to go through all the settings pretty quickly because no one wants to hear about every little thing. You guys just want to know the settings. So right off the bat, you're going to click use the advanced 3D image settings. You're going to click take me there. These are where all the bulk of the settings are going to be. So you're going to want to make sure you're in global settings. Your image sharpening is going to be sharpening off, scaling disabled. Your ambient occlusion is going to be off. Your anisotropic filtering is going to be off. Your anti-aliasing FXAA is going to be off. Anti-aliasing gamma correction off. Anti-aliasing mode off. Background application max frame rate off. CUDA GPUs all DSR factors off. Low latency mode you can try either off or on. Do not use ultra. Uh, some people say they experience a little bit of better performance with on so I would try to do either or try each but I stick with off max frame rate you're gonna want off monitor technology g-sync compatible if you have this option multi frame sampled AA MFAA off open OpenGL rendering GPU you're gonna want this set to your graphics card here so I'm setting it to mine power management mode this is very important set it to prefer maximum performance okay preferred refresh rate highest available shader cache can be on or off it doesn't seem to affect the fps that much in any game so shader cache on or off texture filtering anisotropic sample options on texture filtering negative lod bias allow texture filtering quality again high performance texture filtering trilinear optimization on threaded optimization on triple buffering off vertical sync off virtual reality pre-render frames none of this stuff really matters but one and virtual reality variable rate super sample off okay so you're gonna you're gonna make sure all these are exactly as you see here okay and once they're like that you're going to click apply there should be an apply button you're gonna click it okay and once you apply those settings you're good to move to the next one so this one doesn't really matter, okay? So don't don't worry about this too much. Change resolution, you're gonna wanna make sure you're on the native resolution of your computer. So 1920 by 1080 is mine and the highest refresh rate possible for your monitor. Mine's 240 Hertz. Okay, next, adjust desktop color settings. If I were you, I would turn your digital vibrance up. I would turn this up from 50% to about 80%, but it's really up to you. It does make things more clear and it makes you the ability to see better in the game. So I would do that. Rotate display, you're not gonna do anything here. View HTCP status, you're not going to do anything here. Set up digital audio, nothing here. Adjust depth top size and position, you're going to make sure that it's set to full screen. Your perform scaling is going to be on display, not GPU. Don't make sure this is not checked. Override the scaling mode set by games and make sure this is obviously set to your native and refresh rate and then apply this. Okay. If you have G Sync, you should have G Sync on. If you don't have G-Sync and you have a 144Hz monitor, 244Hz monitor, you're going to have screen tearing. So you're going to want to learn how to get G-Sync or FreeSync and uh, enable that, okay? Multiple displays, this stuff is irrelevant. The adjust video color settings, what you're going to want to do is you're going to check with NVIDIA settings, go to advanced, and then click full, okay? Apply that and that is it. You're not going to mess with any settings in here. That is it. Your NVIDIA control settings are complete. These are the best settings for FPS in any game. I'm sorry for AMD people. I don't have a video for you. Thank you guys for watching. Oh, and shout out to Mr. Dantify and Uncle Tom's, my newest members of the stream. Thank you guys very much for becoming members. All the membership money goes to buying myself a new microphone so that we can make higher quality videos for you guys. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Peace.